Thanks, Lauren. This week, I learned that there's actually a lot of science that goes into concocting a nice cold pint of beer. I went out to the Infusion Brewery Second Distribution Center in Omaha to get a little lesson on how it's made, and they even let me help. It all starts with the grain. This is the heart of the beer. Grain is the sugar source in beer. The more sugar in the grain, the higher alcohol percentage in the beer. They mill the grain and shoot it through this tube into this tank, where it steeps like tea in 160 degree water for about an hour. That's where Mother Nature takes over, because what you're doing now is you're diluting that sugar. The leftover strained grain is sent off to farms. This is food for pigs, chickens, livestock. That solution that's strained out is called wort, and it moves to a kettle where they add hops, so spices, and then up. boil it for about an hour. It's a giant spaghetti pot. Think of it that way. It then goes through a heat exchanger to take the temperature down to about 67 degrees. Then it's mixed with yeast. I don't make beer. My yeast makes beer. They let it ferment for about a week. And during that time, the sugar in the wort feeds the yeast and makes alcohol. This tells us the yeast is working. Okay, now here's the last step. They add CO2 in this tank and then either keg or bottle it. Infusion whips up 4,200 gallons of beer a week. That's about 33,600 pints. For you and I, that's a lot, but for the public, it's pretty minuscule. We drink a lot of beer. We drink, <laughs> Omaha drinks a lot of beer. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing that story. One more science tip mm -hmm. yes. for all you beer drinkers out there. Swirling isn't just for your wine. So Aaron told me that when you do your swirling, what you're really doing is degassing the beer, and that brings up all those nice aromas, and it really? can actually like affect how your beer tastes. So. Don't judge people who swirl their beer. Well, a little tip there for our beer drinkers out there. Mm -hmm. no, I really like the reporter involvement. <laughs> with the purse? Like can I try? Yes. They're like, get in there. Yeah, keeping the purse with you just in case you need to you know, stash some beer bottles new, in there. Yeah, my new uh, part-time job on the side. Yeah. True.